I got you. I got you. Tell, tell the camera what he did. Tell the camera what he did. I'm ain't no hotter than me. Ain't no, no more paid than me. All you. Therefore. All you. Ain't nobody got ten thousand dollars like me. Ooh. Ten thousand dollars on my. Ooh. On my honey, watch me. Ooh. 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 All right, guys, click here for part two. I got all the shout outs, all the info, and it's even crazier than these first five. It took like 30 minutes, so I had to cut it in half. All right, see you there. How many of this? Uh, all the cops. Are... No, all the cops? Yeah, this is not your apartment. This is not my apartment. Yes. Oh, I don't need to tell you anything. Do you have an ID on me, maybe? I don't need to tell you what I'm doing, because I'm not interacting with you. So call whoever you want to call. Huh? Yeah? It's a secure building. It's a secure building. Okay, so how do you think I got in here? We don't know. Did I follow you in here? Dude, seriously? You attacking me. Seriously? Put that, get that phone out of here. What the hell's wrong with you? You stupid? No, stop. No, stop. Now that's funny. <laughs> what are you doing? It, are you trying to impress your mom? Is that what it is? She loves you, bro. It's okay. You can relax, man. <laughs> Stop, it. Stop it. Stop it. And now you're embarrassed. <laughs> Get out of my building. You're not that tough. Relax. I didn't attack Darren. I'm gonna call the police right now. Please. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna press charges. Go ahead. I'm gonna press charges on you. You attack me. We Go ahead. Asked, we I didn't touch you. Why you were All right. I didn't touch we you. Asked, Brother, I'm recording the whole thing. Did you I touch literally you? swung at me. We are you asked, crazy? What are you doing here? None of your business. It is our business. None of your live business. Here. It is our None business. I live here. Come. None of your business. It is our business. None of your business. We live business. here. We None live here. Business. None of your business. We live here. So? We live here. So? And? Okay, so how and? did you get in here? We want to know. I'll stay away from you. And? Dangerous, man. Okay. Let me get I'm my own phone. I'll call the cops. Okay, perfect. I'll call the cops and I'm going to press charges for you attacking me. No. You touch we you. asked you. You why? attack me, it's over. Call the cops. 911. Call the cops. 911. We're calling. Call we the asked cops. you what you Metro PD, here. call the cops and they're going to come here and then they're going to arrest you. Call the cops. They're not going to arrest him. Watch. <laughs> Watch. You're going to be surprised how fast they're going to arrest him for attacking me. Watch. They just touch you. Watch. Okay, okay, we're at Four Academy Watch. Place and River House Apartments. Mm -hmm. We're in the parking deck. And there's mm -hmm. some gentleman down here. We asked him what he was doing down here. He said it's none of our business. Mm -hmm. um, and he's kind of gotten nasty towards us. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of are trying to figure out why this person's in the parking deck. And he will not mm -hmm. tell us why he's here. He says it's none of our business. He's not showing any ID. He's not, will not show us his ID. Call it's the a secure building. We are. Call the police. I'm not security, no. No. You're not. You're not security. You're just a Karen, Karen. No one should give you anything, Karen. Especially your government identification. You're untrustworthy. And the police are trying to tell you something, Karen. It's not your job. And leave your Darren son at home before he gets beat up again. <laughs> Karen? Karen Tell him the person's kid. black. Excuse Tell him he's a black, it's a black man I don't walking. Care. I Tell don't him. care what color Tell him you it's are. a black man walking. Tell him that. We're academy police. Tell him that. Yeah. Call when the robbery, police. When the robbery happened. Please send the police because they attacked me. Send the police. We did not attack you. They attacked me. Please send the police to where they're located oh right God. now. I'm going to call the send security the officer for the building. Right 
good and decent people of YouTube, you've given me 24,000 subscribers. I'm celebrating. Thank you guys so much. I'm going through my absolute favorite Karens and I'm gonna throw some brand new ones in there too. So right before we do our top 100 for the end of the year, here it is, my favorite. You're not gonna wanna miss this. I know you remember this one. Ew. Ew. Yuck. Just take one look at this lady's sadistic, creepy smile. Ugh. Coupled with the perfectly formed pirouette that presumably her body just did as an involuntary happy dance in response to the pure joy she's getting from attacking and intimidating these poor kids for no reason. It's part two, y'all. It's gonna be hard to watch, but listen, at least in this one, she gets what she deserves. So enjoy it while you can, because the rest of these, it's going downhill. Yeah. Oh! And there it is. Good and decent people of YouTube, If in case you missed it, she just told the police officers, you're nothing to me. May I remind you, she called the police. She was in such danger that she called them and she revered them until they got there and they're nothing to her because they don't agree. Now, I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. To the Karen, Life is just one big buffet, people. And the police are the managers that you call when your salad is too cold. The carrots are too crisp. There's not enough ice in the tray. Get your manager. Call the police. That's what it's become. And they don't mean a thing to her because they're just a tool that she can use. And when she can't use them, they mean nothing to her. That's what she said, not me. Listen. Karenism 101. <laughs> Get your popcorn ready. Here we go. Thank you. Take her away, boys. I can't control where the city puts it. It's trash. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gonna be like this all day, guys. I can't. I can't. Let's go. Oh, how about that? I got that on recording, too. Sure did. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I did. Huh? What are you gonna do now? Karen, what are you gonna do now? The answer is nothing. <laughs> you did it to yourself already. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> you wanna fight? <laughs> Doesn't your face hurt enough already? <laughs> Get your popcorn. Oh. Oh. Ow, my leg! My leg! <laughs> Come on. I can't take it. Yes, sir, I do want to get out, but 
You have my hands. Yes. Handcuffed. You have hurt my leg. You hurt my leg. You hurt my leg, sir. You hurt my leg, sir. I've hit my leg on the wheelchair, sir. I've hit my leg on the wheelchair, sir. I don't want to be in the wheelchair, sir. Again, again, again. <laughs> <laughs> one more time, just one more time. Oh! Ow, my leg! How can I run into him when because I'm in my own neighborhood? Oh, I am in my name. Uh, I live right there, mother... That doesn't mean I go wherever I want. I go wherever I want. I go wherever I want. See? You need to come here now and arrest them. I got this. Now. Yeah. No. I think so. Yeah. And they will not let me enter my neighborhood. They are slapping me in my chest. Liar. Liar. I guess. I guess. This is the way. It's like, yeah, it's like, just give it a minute. There's people who are supportive and are just like, I just need to get out. Yeah, actually, she does have a weapon and she's using her flag. Shut the up. I'm like, boom. He's been drinking all day. By the way. Yeah, seriously. He's been drinking all day long. Hey guys, Team Box Cutter Productions has a brand new channel and we want you to come visit it by clicking the link in the description. The channel is called the MC's Channel. It's for music lovers and music majors. We tell the stories that relate music to the world around us, breakdowns of albums, and we have amazing hosts that have done everything from Broadway to Beyonce to opera. Yeah, we have an opera singer. All of our hosts are exceptional educators funny and it's produced by me so you know it's going to be fun and entertaining click that link in the description check us out press subscribe we would really love it listen it's hard to watch some of the stuff we put on here all day long it can be a bummer it can make you mad it can get you down well we have another channel that's meant to lift you up tell awesome stories short form and long form we know you're gonna love it and like i said i'm the producer so it's gonna make you laugh Get the job. Get the job. You know what? You need to go up to the block for me. You know what? Get the boy for me. I have a crazy ass white bitch and I'm locked and loaded. I got so many people that will just fuck put a app in your ass like there's no tomorrow, right? You fugly. Inbred, negative IQ middle school dropout with the body of this arctic seal and the face of a hairless rat. And not the cute kind, the scary nightmare kind. <laughs> oh my god, and if you're offended, oh my god, if you're offended because you, you shouldn't talk about how people look, Bruce. Well, Snowflake, get over yourself. Because this woman walked up to a man with no money, no home and threatened to murder him because he has no money and no home. But that's not all, people. This melted piece of white plastic over a sack of unpeeled potatoes wants to go get all of her friends with guns so they can come murder him while she watches with a smile because he has no money and no home. That's why. Not to mention good and decent people of YouTube that this man more than likely has autism or is on the spectrum. I would say with moderate to fair functionality. I work with kids like this every day. The way he put his hands to his face and his inability to properly respond are very clear signs of an autistic person under extreme distress, anxiety, or fear. This unwashed, stay puffed marshmallow Karen here is a bully.
And not the normal kind that, you know, will grow out of it when they leave middle school, but the kind that grows up and gets a job at a nursing home so she can abuse your grandmother who can't fight back. This, this is the same one. This is the same one you're going to catch on a grainy camera fulfilling all of her secret violent fantasies on your grandfather with dementia that you hired her to take care of because he can't fight back and that's not funny that's what she looks like on the inside so again the only funny part about this clip is the way this fully grown human embodiment of a garbage pail kid looks <laughs> i bully the bullies it's my job because poor autistic homeless man here is physically and mentally unable to do so for himself. So I do it with pride, with glee, body shaming and all. Tee hee. <laughs> so get your popcorn ready. I got nine more of them. You're welcome. Well, there's an issue you because he is like taking money. He is stealing money from honest, good, hardworking people. Well, it's, it's my choice is to, like, not give him money. Yesterday was my birthday. I was very depressed. I went to the pool. I've been there to the pool all day. Okay. Mingling. That was yesterday. What happened today? Today, I was at the pool mingling. Okay. There was a... Oh, what did they do to tell threaten you? not me? to take it. Ma'am, I'm recording right now as well. Okay. So it doesn't all matter. Right. Okay. So what, what did they do okay. to threaten you? I was very depressed. Because I have You have no answer, Karen. So you're going to start crying. <laughs> oh, man. But good and decent people of YouTube, this is the best. The best police officer I have ever seen. Line of questioning, perfect. Reasoning, perfect. Even crowd control, as you'll see, perfect. Hats off to this man. And Karen, you've been served. <laughs> Let's laugh, y'all. Okay, again, what did they do to threaten Okay, you? I went over and I asked the other girl if I could talk to her, and she said no. Okay. And she said, what do you want to talk about? And I said, I'm, I'm depressed. And she said, well, then I think you need to go. And then all of them started to making fun of me, started making jokes, started laughing at me, and I have hip dysphagia. Okay. And so I didn't say Stop. anything. They just Stop. started making, they have it taped. They have it, they okay. just started making fun of me and laughing at me, making jokes at me. And, and, and this, the girl that I asked for help, she got into the pool because they were making a uh, photo shoot, uh, Margarita photo shoot, and, uh, and uh, so I said, so she gets in the pool, and I said, well, are you going to get in the picture? And she, I said, you're not going to get in the picture, and well, then, then, then they Show said, no, you're not going to get in the picture, and then the other girl, not her, but the other girl that was really... Okay. What'd she really do? Really abrasive to me. She said, "I'm gonna kick your ass." And I said, "What?" She said, "I said all I said, all I asked was if I could talk to her. I was depressed. I just wanted to talk to her, and that's all I okay. said." She said, "Well, you need to just go back home." So I went back and sat down, and then they all started laughing at me, and they all started making fun of me, and they all started. Saying I was flabby and I was old and I was this and I was that. And the girl that I asked to talk to, I, I did say, I'll beat your ass, but I didn't mean it. I did say, I'll beat your ass, but. Of course. No. Did you say that to her before she said that to you? No, I said it. I said it, and then, and then the girl that was taping me on on recording said, 
Um, why, why would they just randomly tape you if you weren't already causing a scene or no. something? Really? Officer. Okay, well now let me explain. Let Look. me explain something to you real quick. Before I even got here, because I stopped at the pool up here. I didn't even know this pool existed back here, okay? I patrolled this area for three years. I didn't even know that this pool existed back here. I stopped at the pool up here at the front. So when I stopped up there, I got flagged down by three gentlemen. And they told me, because no, 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 listen, them. listen, listen, listen. Do not interrupt me. I allowed you to speak. I, I, I was flagged down by three gentlemen up here who told me that the lady that I'm looking for, short little blonde haired lady, is back here. And that she's either drunk or she's on something causing a scene because she was just up here at this pool causing a scene. I never was so, this pool. I so, swear. Or maybe the, they, maybe I misunderstood them and they said they that they were back they here. They were at this pool. So they, you, you bothered people back here so much that they went to this pool. Yeah. No. So I need you to really tell me the truth and be honest with me. No. Were you okay. out here causing a scene? Put your phone scene? up. No. Or, okay, so then all these other people are lying. They all ganged up against you. Everybody me. ganged up against you? Yes. Does that sound like a plausible idea? I walked up to one girl. She had... Well, first, I walked up to three guys that were barbecue men, mm -hmm. and I said, can I sit down and talk? I said, I'm a psychologist, I'm lonely, and my fiance is away, can I, can I talk? They said yes, so I sat down and I talked to them for a little while, and then um, I have a bad leg, and so the other guy that. walked me over to my, my chair, and then I, I'm still depressed. Okay. Would you like me to take you to someone to speak to? No? No, but then I walked over to one girl, and uh, she had an African-American, and she has beautiful, long, blonde locks. Shut up. Shut up. The only reason you mentioned African-American is because that meant something to you. You heard yourself say that and then decided to talk about her beautiful long locks to save yourself. Shut up, Karen. They're transparent. And I said, can I, can I talk to you? And she said, what about? And I said, well, I'm depressed. Can I talk? And she said, well, no, maybe you better go back home. And I said, okay. So I went back and I sat down. And then this other girl that's not here, she's the one that made the... <clears throat> made the... Made a threat to you? Yes. Okay. And you did not threaten her first? No. Really? No. Okay. Are these people going to tell me a different story? I don't know. Okay. Because I was, I'm minority, and I don't know. And they even admit, admitted, he admitted, yes, you are the admit minority around here. We're making fun of you. No. He said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sure. I know my son. Okay. okay. And Does he, he have green hair? I, he I said heard that. No, She's, no, nothing. Okay. He said, Mom, you might want to come out here because there's slaves out here and she may try to say something crazy. Okay. Okay. I am I walked to that pool. They weren't there. I walked into this pool. This lady leaves here and she starts screaming mm. at the top of her lungs. No, I don't. Yes, no, she I was. We I have it on video. I, 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 I was screaming heart. at the, the guy with the dog. Me. I, help me. As if, oh, I was, as if I was someone. Yeah, I was someone no, he was right the there. Dog, and that's, that's the not guy okay. with the dog because to help had me. you not been fair and spoken to the other people at the pool, you would have automatically thought that this lady was in imminent danger. She was not in danger. It's not okay for her to do that. It's not okay for her to, okay for her to walk away from black people screaming like that. Because there are people, the people, the like that. Sir, there are people who would not listen to black people and would automatically Sir, assume that, she, that what she's hey, saying is 100%. I, so we, this is not okay. We're not saying that you were, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna address this real quick. We're, I'm, nobody's saying that you were at the other pool, okay? I, was I misunderstood them. I gotta help me. Okay. Why did? You, why were you screaming, making a scene because like that? Because the other girl that's not out here, she's in there. She okay. was threatening to kick my ass. Okay. Then why didn't you leave? Why did you have to scream as you're walking away for because someone to help I, you? I, I, because I was scared. I, I started. Were they coming. following you? No. No. I started were they coming. following you? No. No. I was coming out the gate and I said, Help me, help me. Okay. Because but she kept saying, I was over here. Kick your ass. I was over here. I know, you heard me. And I could hear I you. Saying, and nobody me, was help following me, help me. you. Because she's in there. I even she's offered to help her because she was dropping her stuff. I, I couldn't get out the gate. You couldn't get out the gate. You were no. out the gate already. I wanted somebody to help me. Okay. I didn't know you were coming.
So, young man, yeah, tell, me, tell me your side of the story. Coming. We were chilling. She was already talking to Ryan. That's the three dudes. It's Ryan. Like, they they were doing them. a photo we shoot. We came in here. No, no, there's two black dudes in there that I don't even know. They're doing a, a product photo shoot. That's what she's talking about, the margaritas. That has nothing yeah. to do with us at all. We yeah. just came out here to chill for my birthday. Okay. <laughs> So, did you do the green hair for your birthday? Is that yeah. something you always Isn't it do? Cool? I just okay. did it. Cool. I like her. Thank you. But anyway, so she was chilling, and she came up to the girl with the blonde locks and said, "Hey, can I talk?" And of course, she's already tripping. So my friend was like, not, "Was actually being polite." Oh, you know her? No, was, I don't want her to feel me. Was okay. being. Because I don't want you being that close. Okay, I want. Okay. Being Thank polite. You, being polite, and she said, "No, I don't want to talk." And she knew that she was probably drunk or something. So she said, "You I should probably just go home." That's what she said. Okay. And she so said it nicely. She said it nicely. Too. Like, yeah. So then she sat down. After she said that, she sat down. And then she was like, I'll fucking kick your ass. And then so Dude, my, you said that. she said that. Okay. And my girlfriend said, what did you say? And then we thought she was talking to the police on the phone. She, we thought she already called you. Okay. I was so, talking to my ex fiance. I mean, okay. my fiance. Yeah. Okay. So she phone. said, well, and my girlfriend's like, who are you talking to? And we, she didn't I say anything. So we thought she was on. So we were like, hey, he okay. did not interrupt you while you were speaking. Okay. I said, okay, cool. So she's on, respect. My girlfriend said, okay, cool. Oh, she's on the phone. She's not talking to us. So whatever. She keeps going. The and then. Again, if you get one more outburst like this, we're going to go somewhere. I apologize. Thank you. So then. We we're still sitting there talking, and then she said it louder. She said, I'll fucking kick your ass. And my girlfriend was like, who are you talking to? And she pointed at the girl that was being nice to her and told her to go home. And she's like, I'm talking to her because I was trying to talk to her, and she wouldn't let me. And she was like, I told her I'm depressed, and I had a bad birthday, and she didn't want to listen to me. I'll kick her ass. That's okay. what she said. Okay. I have it on my phone. And we recorded That's everything. Okay. And we okay. recorded her in not Okay. I appreciate you guys being patient with me and letting me uh, speak to this young lady first. Um, do you all need anything from me? No. Okay. We're cool. Thank you, okay. guys. All right. Anyway, come on. Thank you, guys. Okay. We appreciate you. Thank you. Busy would be every single table. There are three servers on, sir. We can only do so much. If you don't like it, you can go somewhere else. Who else is on? Nobody okay. else. Well, you know, I'm not going to pay for a meal. Goodbye, you're out. Drama at IHOP, bro. Good and decent people of YouTube, is there anything more pleasurable than watching a doofus, angry, arrogant Darren slash Karen get arrested and pay for the damage he's done? <laughs> I argue no. Wait, and wonder what is going on inside their head. Goodness sakes. Get out of here. Venimos a tener un pacífico día y Supuestamente una, supuestamente una enfermera. Supuestamente enfermera quiere que nos movamos más lejos. Por la gana de ella. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Good and decent people of YouTube. Today we have the perfect example of a drunk, belligerent, idiot Karen. Well, yes, Igor, that's true. But more importantly. We see here the main flaw of all Karens on full display, hyper-aggressive emotional immaturity. You see, all Karens are still 12-year-old brats that feel small and weak and don't know how to regulate their emotions because no one has ever made them do it before. <laughs> the list you see here is a list from psychologists of the signs of emotional immaturity, and I've highlighted the specific ones this beast is showing. like. Immature people deal with conflict or disagreement through aggressive means, for sure. Uh, they react very negatively to perceive rejection, of course. Immature people gaslight and blame others for their actions, so on and so forth. Never take responsibility. But above all, the truth about Karen is found in number 14, people. Immature people are cowards. 
They pretend to have the roar of a lion with the heart of a mouse. They come in all shapes and sizes from all ages and walks of life. The best way to recognize them is through the stench of their colossal ego reeking underneath the scent of their perfume. Shut your and yet another hyper-aggressive man-child here, people. You see, as soon as he felt that ego was threatened, in the slightest, the first thing this hairless gorilla in the mist does is puff off his chest and pound on it. Emotional immaturity, people. Insecure. Coward. That's all he is. And, and we can now point and laugh at this fool. Is he complaining about them doing gardening and work and stuff? I know. That's you. That's I'm mentally disturbed. I'm mentally disturbed. That's awesome. All right, all right, all right. You definitely are. Try to. Try to. Try to. Get out of my face. Try to. Try to. If you're a tough guy, I'm as tough the voice, Sonny. Like, just let them do their job, guy. Like, why is it such a big deal? Just let them do their jobs, clean the, uh, the leaves up and stuff. It doesn't harm you. Look, he's getting right in their face. Of course he's wearing sandals with socks, too. Of course he is. You're in his way, dude. So, is he just angry because of the noise? Let me call for my supervisor. This thing here, so, okay? He, he's coming. He's very angry because. Oh, they're telling him not to bring it there. They weren't going to use that thing. It scares the animals. It, oh. it hurts the cars. The door, yeah. Hurts the cars. Don't yeah. talk to this guy. No, he's a moron. Let me. You're a moron. Lifestyle. You're a so he doesn't want them using the leaf blower to blow the leaves. Because it scares the animals and hurts the cars. That's wrong. Oh my god. No. Now look, you don't have to have a doctorate in Karen studies with an emphasis on Karen psychology like I do to know that this unfortunately dressed, oversized my pillow, aka the stay puffed marshmallow Karen over here, is only throwing food and mistreating this unbelievably decent patient, and honorable service worker because she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed because she now has to repeat that entire list of food fit for a family of eight, but knows good and damn well that order was just for her and her weird man friend cowering in the shadow behind her. I had one crispy chicken one, two Big Macs, oh my God. and two McDoubles. What's on my Today we're taking a look at Karen's responding badly to embarrassment because people, narcissism and embarrassment don't mix very well. So get your popcorn ready.
still be in this tank. Okay, but I'm, I'm trying, trying to go VA, so get the f it's, Yeah, I'm gonna record you because this is ridiculous. I have a job and I'm trying to keep my trash out. Okay, and you can do that. I'm trying to go home. I just did work. Like, you don't need to swear at me because your dog, talk to your dog. As a neighbor, you need to walk away. As a neighbor? No, I don't. You should be able to control your dog. And I'm literally right here. You're being weird. You need to exit the door. You can go now. I mean, I have a lot going on here. You, oh. need, you need to be normal. You need to be normal. You literally just told me to back I'm going to my yeah, home. Okay, and that's not how you speak to people. You could literally have said. Talking to me. No. I am I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. You're a woman. You could have fooled me. I thought you were a petulant child, raised by whoever your parents paid to do the job for them until they realized it wasn't worth it anymore. <laughs> so they bought you an apartment so you could feel like a real life adult. And they got you a dog. So you could have a friend to keep your company in between their infrequent visits to check up on their burden. Uh, excuse me, I, I mean, their daughter. But now that you've explained that you're a woman, while going down your checklist of reasons why you deserve special treatment from, I mean, there's no other way to say it, another woman, <laughs> I see now you're just a Karen. I'm going to send this to the office because this is ridiculous. I live here. I am literally trying to go. You can go. Is he attacking you? Did I say he was? You acted like he was going to attack me. I said hi to him. He ran up on I me. Have two hands, buddy. Okay, and two and hands. A, and a door frame. Okay, I you can need get there. To understand yes, and you started hollering at me and out. screaming at me, so and now I'm recording. I got a okay, foot. that's between you and your broken foot, man. Yeah, and then the okay. office already knows that. Okay, so you don't need to cuss at me. Okay, can you please go? Foot. I'm trying to go home. You want me to cuss at the broken You dumbass. There's stairs over there. <laughs> please hurry up. I'm literally I'm, just trying to You want to start? Go to the stairs. I'm and there it is. Gross emotional immaturity stops Red and Stimpy here from just saying excuse me and continuing to take the trash out like a human being and a dog. Instead, she blocks the door, makes herself feel powerful because she has no idea how to deal with even the mildest of embarrassments, you know, like an adult. It's beyond entitled, immature, and narcissistic people. It's dangerous. So watch out, my anti-Karen soldiers. They're out there. I'm going to send this to the office because this is unacceptable. I will. Are we doing this? Can you back up off of me? Because if you put your hands no. on me, I'm going go on to call the, the police on you. Go on the I'm trying to go. Please back up. I'm a government. Party. I do not care. Oh. But if you put your hands on me, I'm going to call the police. Yes, Can you see right this? Yes, do you see this? I just want somebody to. I'm just trying to get on the, this the elevator. She's crazy. There's stairs. What's, what's I'm gonna stairs? call the police if There's you do like not stop. Stairs in if this you place. try to barricade me, I'm going to call the police. Yeah, that's I'm how it going works. to call the police. You need to go. Can somebody stand she's here with me, please? Go. This girl's what? like a rape. Like she's I'm she's making me nervous. She's lunging at me with her dog. Please what? stop. What is please stop. I'm trying to go home. I'm lunging at you when you dropped me. Did your she not did you am I am I bugging? Like you. um I have the whole video. You've been I've been just trying to go home. This is bad. This is super bad. You're causing a disturbance. We live here. Everybody lives here. Otherwise, I would. What are you doing? I am trying to take some video and pictures, and people keep asking me what I'm doing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to take pictures and video. Oh, okay. Um, I don't have the, the sun's not going to be up long enough for me to explain everything to you. Then what would be? Why, why are you doing it? What is it? What are, what, uh, what's the real question? What do you really want to know? What are you doing? Taking okay. pictures and video. Okay, why? Because that's what I feel like doing today. Okay. Why are you shopping at the loft? Because I love to shop there. Well, there you go. Carry on with that. I hope you enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you get sued.
You hope I get sued? Sued for what? For badgering. You really gonna get in my face, bro? Are you in my face, bro? I'm, I haven't moved my feet. I haven't. I'm, I'm, I'm not moving my feet. You're harassing. Police are gonna show up. They're gonna tell you to leave me alone and go about your day. If you don't want to be on camera, and that'll be the end of it. Have you looked at the laws? <laughs> have, have you looked? Have you looked at the laws, officer? <laughs> what do you want me to say to that? What am I supposed to say to that, people? Have you looked at the law? You didn't ask him that when you were weaponizing him against the guy over there with the camera. <laughs> Have you looked at the laws? <laughs> I can't. I can't. I don't believe the police either. There you go. Hey guys, Team Box Cutter Productions has a brand new channel, and we want you to come visit it by clicking the link in the description. The channel is called the MC's Channel. It's for music lovers and music majors. We tell the stories that relate music to the world around us, breakdowns of albums, and we have amazing hosts that have done everything from Broadway to Beyonce to opera. Yeah, we have an opera singer. All of our hosts are exceptional educators, funny, and it's produced by me, so you know it's going to be fun and entertaining. Click that link in the description, check us out, press subscribe, we would really love it. Listen. It's hard to watch some of the stuff we put on here all day long. It can be a bummer. It can make you mad. It can get you down. Well, we have another channel that's meant to lift you up. Tell awesome stories, short form and long form. We know you're going to love it. And like I said, I'm the producer, so it's going to make you laugh. How you doing? Um, uh, I just got a message that said that you said I did not deliver your food. That's, I mean, I'm pretty sure that ass won't just send me that message. And and I get it. You probably want a credit or something like that. But you put my job at jeopardy about whatever. And that's what it said. This And how I know it is because this is the only delivery I just did. I just dropped my kids off at karate practice and did this one delivery. And they said it was the exact time the customer said they did not receive their order. I handed you your order in your hand. And people get fired for that type of stuff. And this is how I take care of my life, my kids. And for just for a meal, it's not worth my job. So I'm recording just to let you know that. And I need you to say this, that you got your meal out of my hand. You, you received it out of my hand, right or wrong? Did I receive it? Yes. Huh? Yes? Ew. Gross. <laughs> I mean, we've all made mistakes. Look at that face. Look at, the, look at the embarrassment. Look at the stupidity in that face. Listen, we've all made mistakes. What happens is when you get caught, at some point you realize the frivolity of your denial, right? The ridiculousness of your lies. But Karen just can't stop. She just can't stop. Okay, thank you. You finna go see what? The stuff, underage. That's fine, thank you.